lovely. Straight down. This is the day, this is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history, a chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching. We'll have all the action for you next on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. Well, the 2016 European champions back in the final. No great surprise that Portugal are here. We've enjoyed their football over the course of the last few weeks and intriguing to see if they can get over the line on this, the biggest... Oh, they're in here, Derek. Dear, oh dear. An oops moment on the shooting front, you've got to say. Well, the less said about that, the better, I think. But in summing up the attributes of Patrick Schick, I think it's fair to say he makes everything look easy out there on the pitch, doesn't he? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders... With Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And Ronaldo made the finish look so easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Joao Felix. What can he do with it now? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Showing ambition. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. When you're on a yellow card, you've really got to tread oh so carefully. takes it away well a bit naughty that challenge so early in the contest interested to see what the referee's going to do about it and off he must go after that second yellow card Stuart well he really has let his teammates down he had to be more sensible there in the right place to cut out the pass and he's through here and the keeper there to deal with it. Played over. Really fine catch by the goalkeeper. Under a bit of pressure too. And they will be awarded a free kick for that.
Nunes. Real chance. Oh, tremendous save. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And over it comes. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Oh, genuine chance. And fine goalkeeping. Just the challenge that was required. Lucas Probon. Oh, what an opportunity! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, just watch this again. Felix runs with the ball so well, and it's a top-class finish from João Felix. He just hits it with such power. That's a brilliant goal. Couldn't hang on to it. Ferreira. No problems for the keeper. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Ferreira. Might really be able to trouble them here. He could pick out a teammate. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and Bernardo Silva's header is technically spot on. He arrives at the right time, makes good contact with the ball. That's a really nice goal. And Portugal regaining possession. And that is going to be a free kick. Vitor Ferreira well, maybe a good position from which to counter he's in with a chance and it's come off the keeper and he caught at the attack with a masterful tackle now this could be productive and he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And that is offside. a terrible looking challenge and a big decision for the official here and there it is a red card and everything was going mostly to plan well it shouldn't affect the result but it ruins what has been a very good performance Schick And defensive play to be applauded. Well, he was under a bit of stress, but back to the keeper. Falinha. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, that was incisive. Oh, excellent diving stop. Played over. 
determined defending. A foul, but advantage played. And he's through here. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, this replay shows just how good Bernardo Silva is when he runs with the ball. And Bernardo Silva does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Well, it could be on for him here. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line and a really powerful strike from João Felix. Great technique. That's a top-class goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. That is that for the first half here. So back underway here into the second half. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Uh, maybe room here for the counter attack. All in all, a broken counter attack. Joao Cancelo cuts it back. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. <laughs> Delivering it and dealing with the danger. Bernardo Silva. How could he take them on and beat them? Well, choosing to chip, and it wasn't so very far away. Well, it was good vision, excellent technique, but not quite the end result it deserved. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, the midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Joao Felix. Now the counter attack looks on. Could be! Well, it was a superb counter attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition, and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Committed challenge. Joao Felix. Linger. Vitor Ferreira. Real chance. Applying the finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered. some out and out pasting 6-0 no 
the ball. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Silva. Pereira. Bernardo Silva. And a chance. Joao Cancelo. And keeping it out. And determined to grab his hat trick. Well, the way he's been playing, that was a chance for the hat trick, but he just couldn't take it. 20 minutes remaining. Oh, big chance! Opportunity missed. Portugal have control of the ball again here. Silva. Opportunity it is. Not a bad pass it was. Antonin Barak. Joao Cancelo. And Palinha with it got to be was an important piece of defending a wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward Adam Hlozek now well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one oh in with a chance and still an opportunity and a time for calm on the ball. Portugal have possession once more. Bernardo Silva. Firing it in. Oh, excellent diving stop. And a double substitution it's going to be. He's driven in the corner. Well, the marking was tight. The header off targets in the end. Given away by Portugal. A running room in the wide position but quick thinking defensively and the referee blows the whistle it is a free kick is it going to be? well the danger was on but just a fraction offside And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Well, the supporters think it's on. A glorious chance. Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. Might be a chance here. In position. A goal! Precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it.
Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. And there goes the final whistle. Portugal have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserving champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Portugal! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. doesn't get any better than this does it a chance now to celebrate with their own fans and the fans have also played their part just listen to the noise here great end to this tournament